In this video, I will tell you how you make a RFID based attendance system using Arduino. See, I will give in this circuit diagram and proper code in my GitHub account. If you want, then you directly download it. Now I tell this how you do that. Okay, see, here I use this RC552 RFID module. This one is working on the SPI protocol and I use this uh, RTC model DS3231 and these work on this i2c and i use this sim 800 l gsa module to sending this sms in and out status and i use this 5g sim card so many viewers asking which sim card you used i use this airtel sim card c this one is the 5g airtel sim card but when i put in this uh, gsm sim 800 l module you putting this sim card like this see and you place it and then you attach to our board and the GSM module is work on this 2G network I know is the 5G SIM card but when is putting this SIM card in GSM module they working on this only 2G network okay and I use this Arduino Nano microcontroller board one piezo buzzer when you tap this card is the sound will become in piezo buzzer through and I given this 3.7 volt lithium ion battery to directly power supply of this GSM module because the GSM module is not working on 3.3 volt or 5 volt that's why I use this separate DC power supply and this one is the switch to turn on the GSM module turn off the GSM module and I use this 16 by 2 LCD display with I2C module okay these are the all hardware things now I will tell you how you upload this code First you download this code and then you attach this USB cable to Arduino Nano and your system. See now I attach this one USB cable and this one will be connected to this our laptop and I copy this code and paste it. Okay. See it required this few library to add it and I connect it to the GSM module is pin number 2 and 3 and the RFID model will connect to the RST pin is the pin number 9 because they work on this SPI protocol is required 4 wire reset pin connected to this pin number 9 and SS pin I mean this chip select pin will be connected to this pin number 10 I connected this buzzer is pin number 5 if you have this LED then you connected this LED is the pin number 6 and 7 and see here you put this RFID tag number I know you confuse how you find out this tag number but don't worry I will tell you you put things RFID tag number and then you put your name call number and here you put the your mobile number okay like that you creating this so many you creating this so many users okay and this, these are the code suppose the RTC model is not showing this proper date and time then you uncomment this line and put your proper date and time and then you upload it after the uploading then you uncomment again okay these are these total uh, I mean they showing this LCD uh, display date and time this code available in github if you want then you directly download it now I tell you how you upload this code means how you upload this code in our board I choose this Arduino Nano board that's why I just go to these tools then I select this proper board if you use this Arduino Nano, then you select it. Otherwise, if you use this Arduino Uno board, then you select this Arduino Uno board. I select this Arduino Nano board. Then again, go to these tools, select this proper port, and again go to these tools, select this proper processor. I uh, my processor is 8 Mega 328P old bootloader is supported. I selected it, and then I uploading this code. See the code will be uploaded properly. What I do? I turn on this serial monitor and is display system installize now you have suppose RFID tag like this you just tap here and see the scan ID will be display you just copy this ID and paste it here I mean this user ID and paste it here user id okay and then you pasted all this id then you upload this code again 
now the system will be ready to make this attendance now see the lcd will be display this proper date and time the second and the second row will display this date first row will display this time and now i scan this card one by one first i scan this first roll number card see when i scan it display name and roll number and it's try to sending this sms but right now is the gsm is off so you first turn on this gsm module and see the led is the blinking i mean the gsm getting this proper signal now the gsm will be get this proper signal because the led blinking will be slow now i scan this card see the name will be display and roll number after the few seconds the gsm sending this text sms to particular mobile number see i received this sms pratik 001 is present at school check in time and date and time will be properly display now suppose if i scan the second time same card is display pratik roll number and after the few seconds the gsm sending this text sms see we receive this checkout sms now i scan the another card his name is sonu roll number is 002 and is try to sending this sms see the sms will be received check in time and date now i scan this sonu card again to check out it and wait for the sms see this sonu is out school check out and its time and date will be properly displayed or uh, suppose if i putting this unknown card i mean do not register card in this school then uh, it's showing access denied id unknown see the lcd will be so access denied id unknown card okay this is the very simple attendance system project suppose if you have any do modification then you do that in your side i will providing this code and circuit diagram properly in my github account and the link available in this video description if you want then please download it